Commissioner, I'm glad that we are debating these reports within your term, even if it's only just. The committee has worked hard to ensure that. Now, in many, in fact, I would say in most things, we have a, had a mutually supportive dialogue, though, of course, we have not agreed on everything. For example, we agreed on VAT for intra-community supplies, but disagreed on joint and several liability in the framework of cross-border transactions. And in quite a few instances, we have both been disappointed by the slowness or lack of backing by member states. CCCTB is one of those proposals. But in the face of these disappointments, you have brought forward more intensive traditional controls based on cooperation, information exchange and data access. So both personally and as Chair of the Economic and Monetary Affairs Committee, I take this opportunity to thank you for your work and enthusiasm during your term of office. As colleagues have said, at this time of fiscal stress, enabling member states to collect their full dues of taxes is even more important. With this driving force, Council must be more progressive in future. Those who knowingly scheme to evade and avoid taxes do harm to society and should not expect leniency when they are caught, and we must have the tools to catch them. Turning specifically to the matter of administrative cooperation, I believe that automatic exchange of information is beneficial. It goes along with the Savings Tax Directive, which I hope will soon be adopted in Council. But your activism in this matter has already created positive developments, both within and beyond the EU. I also commend the Directive on Mutual Assistance for Recovery of Claims, but consider a lower threshold for implementation more appropriate. And finally, I apologise to you and colleagues for not staying for the rest of the debate, but as ever, there are double bookings going on in this House. Thank you.